Hello everyone and welcome to the another episode. In this one, we are going to learn how we can animate grids in the background. Having an animated grid in the background is pretty awesome because um, we can place the names, we can place the logos in front of it, which is pretty cool. And I hope you're gonna enjoy it. Please don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Your help will help this channel running. Without further ado, Let's get straight into it. First things first, we need to create a new composition. In this example, uh, it's for about 1920 by 1080. And uh, the background doesn't matter because we need to add our custom background. Let's call it grid. And in the timeline panel, simply right click go to new and add a solid. If you're not too uh, fine to do it, you can simply go to the layer, new and add a new solid. Let's call it grid. And as you can see, the width and height is different than my composition. Hit that make comp size. And for now, I'm gonna leave this one on red. It's not important. When you add the new solid into the project panel, go to effects and presets, search for grid. When you add the grid into the layer, as you can see, we have grid in our composition. First of all, we need to uh, change some details here. Um, I'm, I need to change the size form to the width and height sliders. For this example, I will set it to 100 and 100 as well, because we need to make it 3D view. If you don't have 3D view here like mine, just go and click on these layers here, and you can see the 3D view here. When you, hold, when you turn it on or make it true, uh, it will change to 3D model and um, just simply hit that R. And um, for this one, for now, we need to change the X uh, rotation, set the X rotation to 90. It's not disappeared, it's just um, is on a straight line. When you drag and um, move the Z axis, you can see your grid. Uh, I will change it to the top of the composition. I will set it here. You can change you can change the details on your own. This is just an example to let you have the idea. Uh, as you can see, we have uh, some um, empty spaces here. Uh, I need to change the layer uh, setting. It's not really hard. Just go to the layer setting and to the layer setting. Oh my, that's really nice. Go to the solid setting and um, we need, for, for here, we need to change the width. When you change the width, you can see the grid um, will um, fill the empty. Uh, I will set it to, for example, 3000 because I want to rotate uh, the grid. And now I need to add a ramp, color ramp. Let's search ramp, gradient ramp. We need to add a gradient ramp. And as you can see, uh, in front of the composition, it's um, quite dark. We need to swap these colors together. Let's swap this one. And uh, I want to change this one to red because it's beautiful. Let me make it to full. And as you can see, we have a nice grid in top of our composition. If you don't like it, you can change the amount of uh, orientation to have a better angle of the layer. And um, I want to animate the grids. Let's search for motion tile. And drag and drop to the effects control. Uh, I want to animate the grids here. As you can see, when you move the tile center, uh, you can see uh, it's moving. 
it depends on your mind what do you want to do for this example i want to uh, change from left to right or right to left there isn't it's not really important at um tire center um keyframe press u just check all the keyframes go to the end of the timeline and um 3500 let me see what do we have it's pretty nice hey everyone and welcome to my channel this is me i hope you enjoyed these tutorials please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel your help will help this channel running i want to talk to you about half a minute this is Pejmur. I am Persian and I am student at Politecnico de Torino in Italy. You know, as always, I said, your help will help me to run this channel to create high quality tutorial on YouTube. And uh, I would kindly ask you, please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you still didn't. I will see you in the next let me do something go to gradient rev as you can see uh, we have two angles you can rotate the angles you can animate the angles it's gonna be like this set this one here and the other one that you find it here you can put it here which is quite great but it depends on your mind I will set it here because this I don't really like this one I will put it here, which is quite nice. And um, let me duplicate this layer. Just Command D or I guess Alt D or Control D on uh, Windows users. For here, uh, I will change the location of the layer. Move the Z axis to the bottom of the composition. Let me see what do we have. That's quite nice. If you want to reverse um, these movements, just select them all, right click and go to keyframe assistant and time reverse keyframes. As you can see, we have two models. Okay, let me make it fancy. Right click here and go to a new and add an adjustment layer above of all the grids. Go to the effects and presets, search for optics and drag and drop to the adjustment layer you can see the effects here uh, but for now i need to change the reverse lens distortion and uh, set to field of view to the amount of 75 as you can see we have uh, a fisheye kind of like fisheye but it's in a reverse it, it would be like this and if you reverse it um, it's going to this one and that's it for now let me do something else right click here and add a new null object make sure you're gonna parent these grids to the null object uh, I want to rotate the null object and um, hit R in the rotation you can add a keyframe and um, I don't know let's set it to 360 as you can see, we have empty spaces here. We're gonna fix it, no worries. But uh, you can do something different. Hold down Option or Alt and left click. Go to the expression. Type time times unknown. 20, let's see, what do we have? Oh my God, it's really beautiful. And let me see. Okay, select one of the grids. Go to the layer solid setting and here we need to change amount of height as you can see we will fill the empty spaces it's quite nice and um, let's press new and go to the other one again layer solid setting and change the amount of height quite nice let's see what do we have let me set it to half have a better preview 
Oh my god, it's really beautiful. Uh, let me do something else. Right click here and add a new text. Let's call it inside motion. As you can see, the anchor point isn't in the center. Select the layer, hold down Option Command and Hold as um, set the anchor point to the center. If you hold down Command and Hold, you will set it to the center of the composition. I want to animate our text. It's not really hard. Go to Effects and Presets. Go to Animation Presets. And under the text, you can see we have a bunch of effects here. For now, I want to animate it in. Open up the animated in and um, you can select typo. As you can see, we have a typo animation. If you press U, go to the keyframes, you can uh, change the speed here and F9. Make it easy, easy to see what do we have, which is quite great. If you don't like this one, just remove it. Go to the layer property and uh, go to the animation. Add, uh, let's say, let me remove this one for now. In the animated, select tracking, set it to, I don't know, like this, 50. If you go and add another property like opacity, change the opacity to zero. Go to the range selector and with the star, you can animate your text, which is quite nice. As you can see, it's, as you can see, it's better than uh, the effects. Uh, we did it on our own. If you want to change the position, um, just simply remove the opacity, add another property called um, position change the amount of position. Let's add another opacity weight. Um, opacity, set it to zero, and uh, I want to animate the position. Let's see. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's beautiful. It depends on you, as I told you. Uh, I'm gonna play with the uh, opacity, like this one. As you can see, we have an animated background, which is quite nice. Uh, let's search for noise. Let's add a noise in our grids. I want to set it to full to see what's going on here. Uh, let's change it to 50, 60, 65. I love this one. Copy and paste to the other layer and have noise into the this is an amazing this is an amazing grid animation okay for now i want to do something different let's duplicate this one because uh i don't want to change this and i want to uh, upload it on Google Drive and let you have a link to download the file. Okay, go to grid number three. Uh, we can uh, change the uh, details here if we remove, for example, this one in the other uh, composition, um, we have our text. Anyway, um, I want to add two different grids in left and right side of the composition. Let me remove this one, the adjustment layer. Just hide it. No worries about it. And uh, I don't want to have a rotation. Let's um, check the null object. Uh, let me remove null object. I don't need it. Okay, which is great. Let me change the color and just duplicate this one. We need to add some details here. For example, for the first layer, hit that R, set the X rotation to zero, Y rotation to 90. As you can see, um, it's disappeared, but it's not, it's actually in the center. 
change the location, set it to the center, and move it to the right side of the composition. I'm gonna set it like this one. Wait, 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 wait. I love this one. Okay. I want to change some details of my layer. Let's go to FX Control. Hit that F3 and boom. Select the gradient ramp. Uh, I need to change the gradient ramp here. Let's see what do we have. Where is the where is the other one? Oh, it's here. I want to set it here and this one here. We will fix it later on about this artifact here. Okay, go to the solid layer setting and uh, we need to change the width and height. Let me change the height to amount of I don't know, 700. If you hold down command or alt, you can change details in an amount. Uh, I want to fix this art effect here. I guess it depends on our motion tile. Yes. Uh, let me set it above of this one. And um, that's it. Let me duplicate this. Wait. Um, in the grid, in the grid number four, uh, let's go again to layer setting. No, wait, 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 wait. For this one, I want to go to the solid setting and uh, let's change the amount of width. We want to animate a box in the background. Let's check this side. I guess it's pretty nice. And I need to change the other one. Let's go to layer, solid setting, and change the amount of width. You can do it on your own. Let me, let me see. That's great. Okay, add new and Duplicate this one and move the location to the left side of the composition. Okay, as you can see, we have a box in the background. You can uh, change the movement of the motion tile. And I want to rotate it. Um, let me do something else. Wait, oh, uh, just uh, turn on the adjustment layer. Uh, it's gonna be fisheye, which is quite nice. Um, I want to rotate um, all the grids here, and uh, let's see how it looks. Just add another solid. It de it depends on your own. You can uh, rotate with text even. We're gonna add a null object, no difference. Parent all these and hit that R option. Left click, go to the expression. So at time times 20, let's see how it looks. Oh my God, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I really love this one. I'm pretty sure you get the idea what I'm doing here. And you can do and you can go and create whatever that you want. It depends on your own. I just let you know how it works and how you can animate the grids. I hope you like this tutorial and please don't forget to like the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. As always, your help will help this channel running. I hope you enjoyed and see you in the next episode.